What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last episode, we finished up with Goo Lagoon. A weird render. Look at that. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it like renders in and out. Ow! What? Asshole! Get out of here! Jeez! What a dick! Alright. <laughs> Anyways, we're actually finished up with this portion of Bikini Bottom. We've done everything we possibly can, like well, besides cashing in my socks and um, shiny objects for gold gotchas. But we don't need that. We have 25, we need 15 to get in here. We have more than enough. Let's press R and enter the Posodom. Pos Posodom? Posodom? Eh, whatever. Hmm, what lies behind here? Hmm, I hinted at it in the last episode, but I hinted at it. I pretty much told you guys. Hey, it's King Neptune! Pre-movie! I've got nerves of steel huh? and muscles it's of sand. sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon <laughs> has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. I wonder who we're going to be fighting. In this corner, hey. defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Woo! What? Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, a giraffe I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Yep. And look how much health it has. She has it. Actually, it's more like it. Um, this is Sandy. And I'm gonna take a moment to you guys listen to the music. Sting. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. Is this not just fantastic music? Seriously! It's amazing! This isn't like anywhere near my favorite Spongebob track in the game. Opening, but, but it's pretty good. It's really good. Okay, so what you want to do is actually when, when she jumps up and ground pounds, you actually want to do the butt stomp thing. And then it makes her head go flying up into the top of the stadium and electrocutes her. Here, I'll show you guys again. Uh -huh. Bam! And there we go. Fun fact: the fish announcer guy actually has a name. It's Johnny. Uh, uh, wait, Arain. Johnny Arain. That's what it is. Aaron. Aaron. Johnny Aaron. That's how you actually pronounce it. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> so you actually have to ground pound Sandy herself. Yeah, you actually just have to ground pound near her. Uh oh. Her only means of attack. I bet you do, Patrick. We're fighting our <laughs> lives. I wanna play. I wanna play. Whisk. Oh, all right. Mame. Boo. I'm reading the announce. the uh, cards over there. Uh, it's hard to read them when it's not in a cutscene. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is that? Whoa! The old clothesline move. <laughs> um, if you look, if I can get the camera points. Uh, Johnny Aaron. You can actually see him over there, and I think that's really pretty cool. There we go. And then the Sandy just kind of walks head. towards it. No, it's not. Don't be a doctor. Dog. Actually, what do you want to do now? It says boom on her head? Is that what it says? Yeah, it says boom on her head. Throw it into there. It actually hurts her from over there, too, which is weird, but okay. And then her head floats towards her. She could do that anyways. I don't get why she has to do it to begin with. So anyways, this boss is pretty easy. Not gonna lie, the, this is the first actual boss of the game. King Jellyfish barely counts, but um, they do get a lot harder. Like, holy, especially the last boss. Like, you guys are gonna hear me scream so much on that. It's really it's enraging. Look at SpongeBob over there. Do it from over here. Yeah, I can do it from very far away. Okay, so let's grab it. I wonder if you can do it from anywhere. Maybe I should oh, test that. Nice flying. Uh, yeah. Head thing <laughs> by Patrick. Got all the sparks too. It looks really cool. I'm gonna see and see if I can ground pound from as far away as possible. Just see what happens. Nope. Come on, you know you wanna. Oh no, you got a clothesline, aren't you? Bam! Yeah, I prepared that time. Come on, do it, do it, sucker. There we go. Let's do it from all the way over here. Oh yeah, see, you can do it from anywhere as long as you ground pound. My next question would be, can you, after she like knocks you in the air, if you just do it normally, would it still knock her head off? Who even knows? Wow, Anyways! I've never seen such an electrifying match! Me neither, so that's actually the third one, and on 
Every three. <gasps> that was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob. Ah. <laughs> uh, we. <laughs> So, the fact that the bosses are separate in the uh, segments of three, it really makes me believe that maybe originally you're supposed to fight it as all three characters. But no, you just fight it as two for some reason. And. The old clothesline yeah, move. she's updating her moves now. She does all th um, both her arms and her legs. Best way to get across from that, though, is to just jump once instead of double jumping. And. Oh! So, uppercutter, freaking head, and that's all I gotta do for that. That's a pretty easy boss as long as you stay away. And they give you a lot of health in here, so there's really zero reason you should die. Oh, I did not do that. I jumped too way too soon. Alright. Stop laughing at me, dang it. I'm already back to full health. Why aren't you back to full health? Ooh, that's gonna sting. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna sting. Alright, uh-huh. Yep, there we go. Uh-huh, nope. Missed it. Nah, nope. Uh, there we go. This match, this match is just, about, is just over. about over. That's gonna be terrible. Out of sync. That's one of my favorite lines by him. <laughs> it's Johnny uh, Aaron is super memorable to me. Fantastic character. Ah, now, do you want to butt some one more time, Sandy? I freaking dare you. Come on. There we go. All right. You have this sealed your face. You could do any move but that, and you choose to do the move that one move that will kill you, and he immediately disappears. Quite a battle. Tell yep. him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the bubble bowl. Woo! Wait, there's more. A golden spatula. And that's not yes. all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's little shop of dried fish flakes and flowers. Uh, Thank yay. you, all <laughs> so much. I... What about Patrick? He had a big deal in this battle, too. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you, you want. to thank the Academy too, SpongeBob? We just wax the I'd like to thank the Academy. Okay, and that's it. We have successfully killed the boss. And it's weird how we get teleported there. And then it'll just put me right back to where I started pretty much hey, after Plankton. this. Hey, Hey, SpongeBob. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming Ooh. from inside the chum bucket. Oh, snap. Nothing. I really haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. Well, that's not suspicious at all. Not suspicious. Mom, I'm your friend, right? No, no. not really. <laughs> No, we supposed to say yeah. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. No. Oh, Tell you what I'm gonna do. So nice. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Yay. Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. <laughs> no more thinking for me. Never ever. I just promise to never think again. Hooray! So, yep, we have actually eight, or entered the next part of the level, and as you see, this actually opens up and the fences are gone. You can't, the only way, if you want to fight this boss again for whatever reason, you can by going to the Posa Dome and pressing A and then taking the taxi to that level, and it'll pretty much just start up the cutscene all over again as if you've never done it. New things! Mr. Crab has moved, Plankton has moved, Bubble Buddy has moved to the new section. Patrick always stays by his house. So you don't have to worry about moving. And you also got the sponge ball! Whee! Whee! But it really doesn't do that much, actually. Yeah. Let me teach you oh. how to bowl a bubble. Press oh, that's right, we haven't moved in. You'll bowl a bubble this that button. can knock down robots from a safe distance. It's funny how they say this button. Wow. I guess because um this game was for Remember, not just the GameCube, though, but the, the PlayStation bubble bowl PC. Only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Yeah. So. I mean, is this a bubble ball? Look, I turned into a ball, is it, but it's not in bubble form. So you press X, you start swinging, and then you throw a bubble. There you go. You can actually, as you see, uh, that was like kind of the short release. You can actually release it more, and it goes quicker, I think, right? Yeah, see? Look how slow I am, look how fast that is. Yeah. And there's actually a third section. The area over there is actually the last level, or last section of the game. You need 40 golden spatulas to make it. We're really, like, only 15 spatulas away. What? 
It's not like SpongeBob was saying something there. He was. I don't think it was relevant to that, though. Was there a lifesaver over there? I don't know. Anyways! Whoa! Holy crap. We now have access to rock bottom. Oops, I... Crap! I didn't mean to open that! Ha! Huh. Ah, well, anyways. The police station, which I'm not gonna be going into for now. There is something in there, but... You, I'll, you guys will have to wait and see what that is till later. I know, I know. I'm freaking making you guys jealous. Oh, what's behind there? I saw a video last night of actually someone going over here and glitching his way all the way to the other side of Rock Bottom. There's nothing really there. You can see another level over to that way. Uh, that, that's really about it. Alright, what else can we do here? Well, we can start with this. Start on this. We'll go on to the switch. You open? What did I- Oh, I was like, what did I even do? But there's a golden pair of underwear up there! And there's a gold spatula up there! Yay! That's kind of weird. I wouldn't really have much to do in this episode, but there's actually quite a bit. How do I get up there? I don't know how to get up there. Hello? Maybe I should have figured that out before doing that. <laughs> uh, is it over here? I have no clue how to get up there. Oh my god, I found so loud. Shut up, fountain! Shut Shut What? A sock appeared. Okay, I, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's not get too- Oh, I was gonna say, let's not to get too close to activate that, but no. We can't even, uh, um, do that level yet. Let's do that. Uh, I have to figure out how to get up there now. Can go into here, although we're not gonna do that quite yet. We can go into Sandy's house. I'm just really been collecting- <laughs> I'm just using it, this as an excuse to collect some of the- um, Daddy, things set, sitting around. Daddy. Shiny objects! Uh oh. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and what? Up your miss. How does she know? Well, oh, she is my friend, I guess. Oh, yeah, two minutes and 40 seconds. Defeat all the robots. Don't worry, this, this is a really easy mission. Quote unquote. Of course, you're gonna walk. Cruise country on these. I just thought there was a new enemy right there, actually. Get out of the hamster wheel! Wee! What? I didn't kill him. I thought he was dead. Oh, great. Okay, well. I was gonna say, now that's a really easy mission. I'm totally gonna die, aren't I? Hey, that guy is just a, pretty much just a ball. My timer ball. Who are you? Uh huh. You guys can go away. This is really loud. You got the best come bottle right there as well. There we go. And we might have already done it. Oh, no, not quite. Um, do we miss a duplication crime? Or... There we go, I shot all the robots. Yay, we did it! I guess we have to talk to Sandy for a reward. This is the only time we're here. So we might as well spend this time to explore it. There's really nothing too cool. I really like this, so this is really cool. This would be cool to build in Minecraft, actually. Uh, it's like a freaking tree dome underneath the sea. Um, the hamster wheel, Whee! And SpongeBob looks incredibly creepy. Look at that! If that's not terrifying, I don't know what that freak is. Like seriously, that's way more scary than God dang Silent Hill. I must have King of the Hill. What? <laughs> uh, not that I would know. I've never actually played Silent Hill. I don't know why I would compare it to something I've never played um, or really watched Let's Play on. Alrighty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Yep, I shall. Wait, I've been collecting golden spatulas of Sandy too. Look at look how freaking creepy SpongeBob is. There's a better way to get a look at his face if you go up to the glass. You do that. Let's, let's move away. This will be the perfect screenshot. That's terrifying. Seriously. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Bikini Bottom. <laughs> I don't think I could recover from that, guys. <laughs> mm. Okay. Woo! I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Right. Now, we need to work on how the heck we're gonna be able to get up to Shady Shoals. We need to be able to get- Oh! Oh, Mr. Krabs is right here! Found you! <laughs> um, can we get up here? Doesn't appear so. Huh. I guess it has something to do with a SpongeBob, but I don't really know how. Let's explore this a bit closer and see if there's a 
better way? Can't really jump up there either. Hello? Hello? Am I missing something? Doesn't look like it. The creepy noise is coming from Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom has probably one of my favorite tracks in the game, by the way. So we'll, that's actually a level we'll be taking on the next episode. So look forward to that. Because I certainly am. Where do we want to go? As in, I'm trying to figure out what the heck we do when we activate this. Is it just not open to us yet? I, I think it should be. Oh, how did I miss this? What? Well, okay then. We saw by hitting that. Get the golden pair of underwear. Yeah, it's the only time you hear that sound bites. Okay, can you get over here, please? Thank you. These boxes are nightmare inducing. You'll see why. Actually, I think it's on the last level of the game why these are so nightmare inducing. Well, I might not even do the last level of the game in order just because it's kind of not less level worthy. Uh, you guys will see what I mean. Um, but, anyways, there we go. We got the gold badge. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Just in time, too, apparently. With two seconds left to spare. Is there anything else we can do from here? It doesn't really look like it. Doesn't really look like it. Okay, so our options at this point. That is so loud. We can go into Shady Shoals, which does lead to a level, actually. We can go to Rock Bottom. Um, that's really about it at the moment. Yeah, I think Shady Shoals. Actually, let's just take a look. Gula Goon, Posted Dome, then Rock Bottom. So I guess Rock Bottom will be the next level we take on. However, before I end off this episode, we're actually going to. Am I not- I'm missing one? What am I missing? Huh. Weird. Alright, um... Where do I want to go from here? I'm just trying to think of Cowabunga? Hmm. Let's go over here and see... We need to go find where that bubble bowl area was. It was on top of a hill, I remember that much, but I don't remember which hill. Hmm. Weird being back on this level. It's so green! Oh man, I miss this place. It's so nice and green looking, isn't it? Is it that? Might be up there, actually. Is it right here? Have I made it? Have I survived the ordeal? Uh, is it down here? I think it's, is it down? Oh yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, great. We have survived our ordeal already. <laughs> Alright, you need to get out. You also need to get out. So if we go over here, we have unlocked this. And it's bowling! I, I am terrible at bowling. Really bad at bowling, actually. There we go. And we get a sock for it. Yay! And if we look, we still we're short one sock, but we need the cruise bubble. Hmm, downtown bikini bottom. Extreme bungee. Yeah, we can't do that yet. We're missing a sock, but we also need Gulagoon Pier. Clear out the bumper boats. Is this... What will this put me? Where will this put me? Probably beside Mr. Krabs, won't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, it loads me in this Patrick, too. I didn't know that. Okay, we can do the ski ball. So we're going to go do that quick, and then we'll end up the episode. That'll be perfect, because now I'm, I'm pretty sure after this, we've done everything we can. Minus... Um, well, yeah, we've done everything possible. Besides giving Patrick his socks and doing the Mr. Krabs thing. We need to make it to the ski ball over there. Actually, the fastest way, I'm like, hmm, what would be the fastest way to get there? But actually, the fastest way would probably be this, right? Mm, this is going to be an amazing trick. Watch this, guys. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Whoa. Oh, great. Oh, jeez. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, that actually kind of worked. Bubble ball into the ski ball machine to score shiny objects. I guess you can farm shiny objects here. Yeah, because it doesn't give you any socks or anything else. And you can only throw one at a time. After I get some there. Ten! I even get some old school music. Ten! Okay, if you throw more than one. Oh! Oh, yeah, see, the first one disappears. Twenty, the most you get is fifty, I believe. Oop, that's not how you're gonna get fifty. Unless those corner ones are actually more points in the very middle. You can get the middle, and you can kind of work yourself in a way that you'll get it every single time. Come on, can I do it there? Oh, not quite. Not quite. Oh, that's not gonna get it either, actually. 
Oh uh, no! Okay, that was 20. That actually made it time. Great. Throw a little harder. <gasps> oh, I was so close. I'm gonna go back a bit more though, I think. Uh, it's really hard to line yourself up. Come on, nope. Hold a little longer. Eh, eh. God dang it, really? Come on. There we go, we got 20. Put that a bit longer. Oh, that was way too long. Do a little harder. Yeah, see, I've worked my way in, in an area where I will get... No. Maybe not. Come on, get in the middle piece! Get in it, dang it! Aha, there we go! What? Is that not? I thought that was the best one you could get. Okay, I actually might have just screwed that up. Let's see if you get it into the 50. Come on! You can do it, SpongeBob, I believe! I believe! Yeah, if you get close enough, your bubble bowl just explodes. I guess this is an area you can farm uh, shiny objects if you want. I've never really used this that much, but if you really want to farm, you can actually use another area that's in one of the last levels of the game. Actually, technically the same level I was talking about with the blocks. Uh, oh! Oh, I was so close. Okay, anyways, let's go on with the episode here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and already. My name's Chris, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm actually going to load myself back in Bikini Bottom because, you know, why not? I'm apparently missing um something here. Huh. Actually, I might know what that is. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.